pay attention. We're going to play a little game to test your mind-body coordination. What I want you to do is I want you to take your right hand and place it on your nose like this. And then take your left hand and loop it under your right hand to hold your right earlobe. You got it? Okay. Now when I say switch, I want you to reverse it. I want you to take your right hand to hold your left earlobe and your left hand to hold your nose. You ready? Switch. So how did you do? Did you get it? Or did you maybe mess up? Don't feel bad if you messed up. Sometimes your body has a mind of its own. But with a little bit of practice, you can get your brain and your body working better together. Let's try another one. Okay, here's one you can try right from your own couch. Using your lap as a surface, I want you to take your left hand and I want you to place it on your left leg. Now make a fist with your right hand and place it on your right leg. What I want you to do now is I want you to gently move your left hand back and forth in a sliding motion as though you're standing a surface. And then gently lift and lower your right hand as though you're hammering. You got the motions going? Okay, good. Now when I say switch, I want you to reverse it. Are you ready? Switch. It's not as easy as it looks. Did your left hand try to make a sliding motion with your fist? Okay, we're gonna really pay close attention and we're gonna try to do it together now. And let's see how many we can get correct. Are you ready? Okay. Switch. 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 So how many did you get? Did you get one correct? Maybe two? Did you get all of them correct? And are you curious why these coordination games are so difficult? The coordination of both sides of your body happen in a single place in the brain, the cerebellum. And when your hands have to switch while doing simultaneous tasks, it causes something called bimanual interference making your brain pause over the action that it's trying to do. And now that you know how these games work, you can try them at home with your friends. And with a little bit of practice, you can get better at them. But as you know, the first time you do them, they can cause some serious brain-body mix-ups.